All right, everybody, welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. We destroyed, uh, Merkel, killed Catherick Thorm, and, uh, Isabel is gone now. Sucks. She was, um, well, I'm just gonna put it like this. She was fine. And, uh, and now she's gone. She's dead. We're back at camp, getting ready to rest. Gonna go around, see if there's anything worth talking about to anybody. Um... And we're gonna set back out to I don't even know where. But uh, before I do that, let me just select one of these here. Okay, let's talk to Carlac. Oh, and I'm fucking up. encumbered, so that's great. Hey, soldier. Tell me more about your relationship with Gortash. He got his claws into me early. I was a wild kid, <laughs> brawling my way through the city. One of my mates got wind of a bit of work guarding some indoorsy type with lots of enemies. Seemed like easy money, so I went in for it. He took one look at me and said I was perfect. I liked that. No oh my fucking god, what keeps Just, doing- It felt like a good fit. I kept him safe, and he paid me well. Well enough to move my folks into a better neighborhood and put something away for the future. My future. I respected him. Trusted him. And he returned that trust, that respect. His life was in my hands and I took that seriously. The whole thing with Zauriel happened so fast. I had no idea what had gone down until it was over. One minute I was in Baldur's Gate, a happy, healthy, not quite kid. The next, I was burning up in a Vernus with an engine for a heart. Zariel laughed, said she paid him well for my services. She'd wanted to test her new machine, and he said I'd be able to handle it. He was right. Sometimes I wish he weren't. Oh no. Evil. Evil bastard. Well, hey, hold on. We're not done talking here. Soldier? Uh, she never said anything about soul coins, I'm pretty sure, but... Tell me again why you want to collect soul coins? It's not that I want to collect them, per se. It's just that if we should happen upon them, I can use them in battle to fire up my engine. Evil's evil, but it can be put to good use. Sometimes. Maybe. Right? <laughs> uh, come, stop going out of the fucking conversation. Hey, oh, okay. That's all that there was. Never mind then. God, do you know how hard it is getting to know every single one of these fucking people? Uh, who's supposed to be right here? Isn't this Shadowheart stuff? Gale? How you doing, fella? How can I help? Uh, da, 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 nothing. Oh my God. Jesus. I hear you did the deed. How was your little romp? What? Uh, what? Heard I did the deed. What the hell are you talking about? Could have been better. Oh dear. It was a flop. How disappointing. I hope next time you'll have higher standards when it comes to playmates. Uh, but you're not here to gossip. What can I do for you? Was he just talking about Lazelle? Bro, catch up, man. That was a long time ago. Um, okay, well, let's leave. And then, uh, Shadowheart. You wanted something? Um, there's some matters I wanted to discuss. I'm sorry. It might be best kept until later. I'd be a poor counsel and worse company just now. Okay, well. Alright, then let's talk to Dame. What do you know about me? Oh, okay. You spoke of my past. Being chased by wolves. I told no one about that. I mean, you told me. Almost no one. Hmm. But I certainly didn't share that with you. 
There is nothing I can tell you that you do not already know yourself. They trained you well, trained you hard. Chiseled away any part of you that did not fit their plan. They made you forget. I chose to do that. For the mission to protect Shaz... Secrets. Yes, yes, that is an old song, girl. Your goddess cares more for her precious secrets than she does her devotees. Get to the point. When you freed me, you severed a bond between me and that dog, Thorm. A bond of pain. His, inflicted on me. When I laid oh, eyes wow. on you, I sensed a similar bond. You, tethered to two others. Someplace distant. Let me help you remember. You feel Shadowheart's mind tug at the edges of your own. You know this sensation. She wants you to see whatever is about to be revealed. <laughs> okay, yeah, I'll open my mind. Your mind joins with Shadowheart's. Something pulls at you both, bringing you elsewhere. So... It wasn't that she had to die for Thorn to die, it was... That was my interpretation of it originally. It was that any harm that came to Thorm, she was the one who took the, the... the pain. yourself in him do you not recognize your own blood so they didn't save her My father that was him that is him he lives still and your mother too no it can't be i'm an orphan and who told you that your adoptive family you are not to blame you were young impressionable they took you because they wanted to break and remake you. But you are a child no longer. You are a woman. One who knows what must be done. My parents... I need to save them. Uh... I'll help. Your parents are with your abductors. You will need to return to their lair. But be warned. You may have once thought of them as comrades. Mentors, friends, even lovers. Oh, no. They will all be enemies now. Oh, no. You have been no. forewarned for what is to come. But not yet forearmed. Oh. The Spear of the Night? I thought that was cast into Shadowfell. I was able to retrieve it before it sank too far into Shah's umbral domain. Shah is quick to discard whatever she has no use for. I think you know that well enough. But I felt it call to me as I took flight. Whatever Shah calls her own, Saluna has equal claim to. They are one and the same. Their power is matched and mirrored. Take it. You will find it useful. Huh. What you do with it, that will be up to you. Same as before. I'll need every advantage, it seems. Thank you. A debt repaid. You returned my life unto me. Now go and claim your own. <laughs> it hurts. Yeah, what about that thing? Shah torments you still. What a spiteful creature she is. This will not stop until you take action. Huh. See that your parents' sacrifices are not in vain. Allow the Moon Maiden to guide you at last. Huh. Saluna's Spear of Night. Very interesting. Now, can we talk to you about it or not? Nah? Almost pleasant traveling with company. If you ignore all the less pleasant aspects. Uh, I want to talk about all that's happened to us. Fine. What's on your mind? Uh, how am I holding up in your estimations? 
How are you holding up? Don't be so modest. I can't remember the last time I met someone like you. Perhaps I never did. And never will again. Yeah. I am one of a kind. Um, Alright, let's leave. Alright, everybody, get ready for bed. It's time to fucking give it a goddamn rest, huh? Auto select. Full rest. Okay, Shadowheart's got something to say. Uh, I am going to put Will back. Because his dad is no longer around. And, um... Yeah. I don't know. It just... We don't need him... I'm sorry. Anymore. I might have come on a little strong with the dance invitation. I was imagining my younger days. Prancing about without a care in the world. Oh, hey, man, don't worry about it. I'm just we may not a dancer. Never be dance partners, but we have fellowship, and I wouldn't trade that for all the gold in the gate counting house. Well, that's enough sentiment for one day. What did you need? <laughs> the Blade of Frontiers at your calling. Oh, hey, thanks, man. Can you wait in camp and not come with us on the road? <laughs> uh. Are you sure? The blade stands at the ready. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. And just when things were warming up. Yeah, well, speaking of warming up, hey, Carlac, you're back with me. Poor Shadowheart. She's been jerked around so much. I want to believe the gods keep this world balanced, but sometimes, sometimes I wonder. Come on, we're heading out. Aces. Get rid of that fucking... Hide helmet. There we go. Uh, also, I have something else for you. I know you have that halberd, but... Okay, this is going to Shadowheart. I want to give you this war hammer. It's one-handed? Wielding with both hands. Whoa, wait, wait a second. Did you see that? Did you see that? No way. What the fuck? What? Bro. <laughs> what? You seeing that? What? Unbelievable. <laughs> Un... Unfucking believable. Alright. Okay, well... That's cool, I guess. See now let's talk to Shadowheart, and then let's find a merchant, because I am filled to the brim. I've been lied to. My whole life. And I was gullible enough to just believe it. Oh, that's alright. People on Facebook are much My worse. My parents are alive, and... I have to save them. I think a part of me always knew that. A part that Shah denied to me. Um, you've been forced to live a lie. At least now the truth is starting to reveal itself. Indeed. But the truth may yet prove painful. Who knows what Shah still keeps from me. We'd better press on for now. And hope we're ready when the moment comes. But before that, there's one thing I need to see to. Mm, what's that? You'll see for yourself soon enough. Just leave it with me. Okay. Uh, leave then. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, okay. Let's... Oh, I almost forgot. I oh, almost dogs. fucking forgot. Rage impeded. Weighed down by heavy armor until the armor is removed. Raging won't gain extra damage. I didn't know you were a medium armor connoisseur. God damn it. Well, now we gotta find both you and Shadowheart some new threads. Now we need a merchant. Halsen? 
Glad we cleared the you place out. my friend. Now your path takes you to Baldur's Gate. But I cannot join you. Out there, the curse still thrives. I failed this place. Now I must remain behind. And stand watch over it. Yeah, well, you didn't really fucking help us at all going through any of this bullshit, so... Thanks for staying at camp and eating up all my fucking food. Um, do as you wish. This isn't what I wish. It's simply the way it has to be. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Alright, uh, anything else here? Um... We leave the heart of the Absolute alive. Thanks to you. You did well to defeat Ketherick. But Ketherick was only the first to fall. There are many more battles ahead. And they will not be so easily won. You will need allies. I already have allies. You have the makings of a leader. Your actions have already inspired those around you. But if we are to succeed... We will need others. Okay. Uh, will there be anyone left when we arrive in the city? Even if the buildings are demolished, there are always survivors. There are always those who will fight. Baldur's Gate may not know it yet, but its fate is bound to ours. Seek on its streets those whose purpose aligns with our own and invite them to our cause. Together, we will put an end to the Absolute. The Chosen. All. Alright. I guess so. Uh, can I not walk out without getting Shadow Cursed? Because... I kinda thought that it was different now. Nope. Nope, doesn't sound like it. Sterion, where the goddamn shit are you? Stuck behind a goddamn... Well, then that means I gotta go get the fucking Moon Lantern again. Alright. Uh, let's get going. Starion's got the Moon Lantern. Now, we've got a few things here that we need to... ...finish up before... ...I say we leave the... ...this dark place. Um... ...heading out west... ...to Baldur's Gate. Investigate the last light in. And we have to find that chick's parents. So I'm gonna be adventuring here for a minute. Well, that fucking ox isn't here anymore. Wonder where the hell it went. I had read somewhere that it had something to do with, um... With Carlax, so I didn't- I didn't kill it. But, uh, it's gone now and... I'm starting to think that it had nothing to do with Karlak, which is great. Can I walk across without dying? Oh, way to go. The hell? A backpack? Nothing. That might be worth a look. Well, 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 Karlak. Let's see what's in here. Oh. Okay. Shit. I almost forgot, we need a fucking merchant. Cellar. They lock people up down here? The steeped in bliss thing. That's the that's the thing we got off the from from the the mind place, whatever. God, I'm using terms for fucking Alan Wake. Uh and we just get it now. So that's dope. We get two dice rolls on I don't know, every interaction. It says investigate. Last light in, but I really have no idea what else it wants us to investigate. Like, there's nothing else here. I imagine it's 
probably glitched. Uh, half my fucking waypoints are gone. So, there are... There's nobody to trade with. That's great. Can't go back to where I was before. At least I don't think I can. Yeah, I don't think I can. Oh, these... This fucking guy. I almost forgot all about this fucking guy. Oh, yeah, this was really difficult. Uh... Let's see if we can get through to the conversation now, huh? Good to see you again, man. Uh, thanks for kicking my ass earlier, but, um... Uh, I already drank some wine earlier, thank you. Alright, well... Pick up the tankard. Leaning in, you can see how the creature's skin barely holds it together. The bulge of its belly is on the cusp of bursting wide open. Oh, gods. I do not want whatever's inside that guy all over me. Holy shit, 18? Oh, fuck. It was an 18 and I got it before? Roll it again. There we go. This fucking double dice thing is a goddamn cheat code. From aboard a Mind Flayer vessel, I've witnessed the Hells themselves. Don't know why this one's so tough, but... We sold it. So am I! When my cup runs dry, let me pour you some sympathy. A sip of my drink, I guess. Hell yes. Stories. Jesus fucking Christ, man. Tell me a false fell, villains vanquished, beast bastard. I conquered infamous hobgoblin Draw Ragslin and his minions. Got it. Are we trying to get him to drink enough to fucking blow up? Alright. Uh. Slide a hand. Come on. We can do this. Oh, fuck. Two, four. That's not gonna make it. Uh, let's use inspiration. Come on. Motherfucker. Don't do this to me. Come on. Yes! Holy shit. Barely made that one. I, I know you. I knew. I know. I am knowing. What? Ugh. You want 
father's personal mysterious secret. Secret? No. Not never. Father said, ordered, commanded. Don't say it. Don't say it. Urkate. Urkate. What? Talk and perish. Die. Bury. Bury the what the fuck? Tomb. Father told me. He's gonna fucking blow. Oh god. Well, that was much easier. Worn key. Stinger. Um, okay, so there's something. Someone in a cage? Who? Motherfucker! Alright, so this is the way to Baldur's Gate if we follow down that path. But we're not gonna do that just yet. Where the hell did this come from? Whoa! Okay, well, I have looked around down here, and I'm starting to think that all that guy had to tell us was that, uh, the cage, quote-unquote, he said father, so wasn't he a thorn? And now that's just daunting on me, is that his last name was Thorm, so his dad was Kethrick Thorm. Meaning that, uh, the night song, he was just talking about the night song, it was more context for, like, what was going on down there, so... It's cool, it's cool. Well, the statues of Shar are still here. We have not found a way for them to be open. Ornate wooden hatch? What the hell? <laughs> What's in here? Anything? Well, well, well. Key hold. Don't worry, I got this. Maybe. Holy shit, just barely. Where the hell are we? Oh, God. Damn it. Uh, fuck. Am I just supposed to disarm all of them? Alright, got this one. Okay. We did it. 18. No match for me. What have we got? Some gems, a hyena ear, and 16 gold. Not at all worth it, but that's cool. Whoa. What have we found down here? Oh shit, shadows. What the hell is that? A wraith. Got him. Got him. 
Oh yeah, you hit it. Missed. Take that, bitch. Where the hell are these shadows? I think there's one right in front of me. Damn it. I want to try out her new spear. Fucking pussy. Cut that one down. There's two left. I don't know where this thing is. Fucking bitch. Fucking bitch. You sensed this one hid for days as the sounds of battle got closer and closer to town. You didn't even care who won so long as it ended. Uh should mind my step. What is even down here, huh? Gilded chest. And what do we got? Helmet of Arcane Aquity. And now we're encumbered. Fuck yeah. Is there anything else? Moonrise Diagram? <laughs> Carefully drawn diagram of Moonrise Towers. Circle red ink draws your attention as though something has been stashed in the tower's prison dungeon. Someone's marked a spot. <laughs> Well, I'm not going back to the prison, so. Hell yeah. Alright. Let's get out now. I was trying to find the morgue of the House of Healing so I could go through where those zombies were, because I know that uh, there's something else in there, but honestly, is it really worth that much? Plus, we can't... I know I should probably like, give my... You know, the other people some stuff to carry if it's really that much of a burden, but... Um, I think I'm ready to move on and see what else we got, so... Might just head out to Baldur's Gate. Alright. Looks like Let's get out there. Through here. This is it, and we're off to Baldur's Gate. About goddamn time. You're about to progress your adventure. Once you move on, you may not be able to return. Make sure you type any loose ends before advancing. So are we going into Act 3 now? Because I'm pretty sure Act 1 took way longer than Act 2 did, and I was told it would be the opposite. But, uh, yeah, let's jump into it. I got nothing else going on. Uh, unless that chick's parents, they're, they're just gone. I don't know where the hell they're at. Don't know where to find them. Uh, yeah, so anyways. Whoa, why are we at camp? What's happening? I won't have a word. I... F... Or is it an E? Is it even a letter? I am covered in blood. Damn language is this? Doing some stretches before bed? Uh, what are you doing? Uh, me? What are you doing? I was minding my own business. If only everyone was so considerate. Listen, we travel together, but we're not friends. I'm not about to share anything with someone I can't trust. Persuasion. I could be a little bit persuasive. I got plus 12. And we got a 16, so it really wasn't that hard. The runes are carved in deep, brutal strokes, but the jagged letters mean nothing to you. Whatever language this is, you don't recognize it. And? What does it say? Uh... I'm not sure. Hold still, I'll draw it for you. Wow. 
What in the hells? What did he do to me? What does it say? I have absolutely no idea. But it's no poem. Two centuries carrying this. And I can finally see it. You really have no idea what this is? None at all. It doesn't look like a poem. It doesn't look like anything I recognize. Whatever How would it be a poem? carved in my flesh. It's a mystery to me. Th thank you. By the way, this is... Well, it's something. Uh, don't mention it. Given the subject matter, I probably won't. Uh, anyone else? No? I don't get why it took us to camp, but... I'm guessing we go to bed then? Is there something you want to tell me? Be honest. What do you think of the new look? Uh... I love it, actually. Well, I'm glad someone does. Perhaps I'll get used to it. I have a lot to get used to right now. Um... The white hair looks fucking dope, actually. Give me a bit of a Billy Eilish vibe. Um, leave, I guess that's all that we had to say. Why are we here? I said travel to Baldur's Gate. What is happening? Am I supposed to be talking to someone? Gail, why do you have your goddamn hood on? You know, dead. I am not a skeleton. I am neither dead. Oh, Arabella, how many times are you gonna tell this or ask this guy the same fucking question? Hey, you. I made it. Easy peasy. You find mum and pops? I haven't found your parents just yet. Well, hurry. They gotta be somewhere. And I don't want them worrying. Then I'll teach you to conjure those vines. Ah. Uh, okay. Well hate to say it, but I don't think we're going to learn how to conjure vines. Uh, do you sell anything? Thou Can you buy anything? alone. On all these harsh nights, thou hast sought no company. Well... I'm trying my fucking hardest, dude. Do you know how many times I've gone up to Karlak and fucking Shadowheart and just tried to, you know? Tried to strike up conversation that would allow that sort of thing to happen. I'm trying. What am I doing wrong, you know? I gave Karlak the ability to touch. I'm fucking... I feel... I feel like, you know, Shadowheart's finally warming up. She's gotta be one of the hardest, but like... Now I, I, I literally don't know what else to do with Karlak. You tell me, skeleton. Huh? You tell me. You sound disapproving. Is no domain of mine. But it is often cited as the purpose of mortal life. Wherefore turnst thou from it? Uh, my fellow travelers don't seem to like me enough. And thus thou art alone. Like, what the fuck, dude? Was that supposed to be a night where something happened? Like, I don't, I don't understand. Shadowheart looks like a stack of gold. <laughs> Never thought I could get so excited about someone's forehead, but here we are. Like, all I can do is ask her to stay in camp. I'm not gonna do that. Uh, I turned down Will. I turned down Gale. I turned down Asterion. We're done with Lazelle. Fucking what else, dude? I wasn't expecting it. But, I'm glad to have some company on this journey. I actually really like it a lot more than the bangs. Yeah, talk about all that's happened to us, like, there's- there's nothing, dude. Like, relationship is good. Can't afford to stay idle. 
Relationship is very good. I don't- I don't know. I- I don't fucking know. Even camp. Ketherick is defeated. The path ahead clear. You should be elated. But the sight of the land you leave behind does nothing to alleviate your sorrow. Was there a way that we could have fixed that? Pain. It cannot compare to Halson's. I don't get it. Was there a way for us to cure the land? Like, I don't... This fucking game, dude, it tells you nothing. It fucking tells you nothing. It's so frustrating. Sergeant, if you are here, I presume Wern's Rock is secure, and preparations for my inauguration are complete. No, Lord Gortash. We were interrupted. Another quake in the lower city. More severe this time. So you came cowering to my chambers? I'm flattered, Sergeant. But even I cannot command natural phenomena to cease. Forgive me, my lord, but there is panic in the streets. The people are afraid. Perhaps the people would be calm if you kept your nerve. I expect better from the Flaming Fist than to run scared from a slight tremor in the earth. Get back to your duties. Duties, duties, duties. Patrolling and saluting and following and bowing and scraping and yes sir, no sir, rip and cut your throat sir. Your plan is falling apart, Lordling. Give me a reason not to cut you to ribbons. Control yourself, Orin. We need to focus on reuniting the stones or the brain will break free. These quakes are just the start. Neither of us expected the prison bearers to kill Ketherick. They'll be traveling to the city. Let's make sure we give them a Baldurian welcome. I itch to be with you. To split your skin. To see your skull shine in the light. Little tyrant. <sighs> Lucky for you, I harvested a whole family of living flesh in Rivington at High Sun. They will sate my blade thirst tonight. Oh. But tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow, and tomorrow, my blades will thirst again. I hear a lot of footsteps. I don't see a whole lot of anything. Huh? Beyond the campsite, the city waits in uneasy silence, one sleep away. Huh. gotten a notification saying that we're in Act 3 yet, but I would dare to say that we're pretty fucking close. A few moments later. 
All right, well, I just got done reading that I'm probably locked out of the Carlac romance scene for whatever reason. Uh, I don't know if it's an update that they introduced into the game, but it should have happened after we rescued Nightsong. And we have been to camp since then. Nothing has happened. She can touch people now, but she... The, the fucking opportunity just has not ar arisen. And it could even possibly be because we romance with Lizelle first. I don't think it means that Shadowheart's locked out. But that's kind of really fucking annoying Soldier. that Carlock is. Yeah. I don't know, man. Maybe one day I'll play this game over again. But that, I like, in order to fix it, I have to go all the way back to when the last light, in, when we first got to the last light. And that's way too far. Like, I'm so many hours past that at this point. How many hours? Yeah, at this point, it was 22 hours and 43 minutes. And we're 38 hours in. So 16 hours ago. It's just not gonna happen. Almost pleasant traveling with company. If you ignore all the less pleasant aspects. Okay. Well. Oh, fucking well. Let's, Let's go to bed. This does. Gave it our best shot. What? Someone in camp wants to speak to me. Who the fuck? Gale? I was supposed to sacrifice myself to stop the absolute. Yeah, I don't think I could have gone through with it in truth. And I'm glad that I didn't, given what has come to light. What? What are you talking about? The Elder Brain. But more importantly, the crown that it wore. Even without seeing it for myself, I could sense it. Netherese magic. So pure, so complete. I doubted what I was feeling at first. Most Netherese artifacts contain only the faintest amount of their former power. The ghost of an echo of a memory. That crown was different. I can't fathom how such a wonder survived. Surely everything of its ilk was destroyed along with Netheril itself, but... No matter. It exists. I must learn more of it. Uh, back up a little. Why is this crown so important all of a sudden? That crown sits on a gargantuan elder brain bent on destroying us and everything we hold dear. Understanding its true nature might unlock the means of our victory. We need to learn more about what we saw. An artifact as powerful as that crown must have been documented somewhere. As luck would have it, we'll soon find ourselves near one of the finest book collections this side of Candlekeep. Sorceress Sundries. I need to go there and learn all I can. Sounds like an excellent idea. The only kind I have? Their collection of rare tomes is unparalleled. <laughs> Nethery sex are hardly commonplace, but I'm certain they'll have one or two stashed away. You'll have to forgive my eagerness, but if my suspicions prove to hold water, this could be the answer to all our problems. Is it gonna... Is it gonna initiate a romance scene between me and Carlac or nah? Because if not, that's the only fucking problem I have right now. The events of the last days weigh heavily upon you. Sleep's rest is slow to come to one whose mind is so full. The Absolute is not a god, but an elder brain controlled by the Chosen of the Dead Three. They mean to use it to take control of the Sword Coast. All who carry the Tadpole are governed by the brain and by extension the Chosen. It will take but one order to transform them into an army of Mind Flayers. This would have been your fate, too, were it not for the Dream Visitor's protection. With his help, you have uncovered the cult for what it really is. A plan of conquest. Is this just a review of everything that we've done up themselves. so far? Together, you have the power to thwart the Dead Three. If you follow this path to its end, the Elder Brain will not answer to the Chosen. It will answer to you. Whoa. Will you liberate them from their parasites and their religious delusions? Or will you use the power you gain for your own purposes? 
Um. When the moment comes, I'll do what feels right. You will not have long to wait. All you need to do now is sleep. But sleep is not for you. Hear me. Oh, shit. What the fuck is the artifact doing? What the hell? We're under attack. Help me. What the fuck? Are we all tired as shit? I would be too. What the hell? Escape to the portal before the Absolute takes control? Uh... Wait a minute. Alright. Go, go, go. Oh, sweet, it got us all. Fuck. That thing's about to blow. Who the hell is that? Under attack. Oh shit, we're coming. What the fuck? The intellect of ours are on our side? Well, this is weird. Why are intellect of ours on our side? Fucking bitch. Holy fuck. Why are you guys not here, man? It's not over. Come to the skull. At the ready. For real? Damn it. Fix the fucking jumps. that before you do anything I am your ally you look we like a mind flayer to me danger. oh shit a mind flayer the good Yankee is the source of our protection against the absolute I must subdue him or everything we've worked towards is lost. Don't let my form deceive you. I am the one that's been protecting you. I am 
the one that came to you in your dreams. Oh, come on. Me. Prove to me that you are who you say. You saved a child from a viper back in the Druid's Grove. You saved the Asima Night Song from her soul cage. Your continued existence as yourself and not a mind flayer should be all the proof you need. What the now, fuck? Help me. Read his thoughts. Come on. Yes. Despite your best attempts to be subtle, the mind flares awareness is everywhere. You blunder in its presence like a walk pup learning to walk. <laughs> you must be joking. I am telling you my thoughts directly into your head. But if you insist on taking a look for yourself, be my guest. Nothing in your colorful existence to date could have prepared you for this. As the horror subsides, you are left with only one coherent thought. You must do whatever you can to subdue the Githyanki. What the fuck? Happy? Now, join me. Fight! Together, we can turn the tide. I don't understand. It doesn't sound good, but... It also doesn't seem good that we fucking let this guy go. I don't know. Ugh. Fucking missed. God damn it. Moonlight butterflies? Whoa. Okay. Are you kidding me? What the fuck? Can't touch this bitch. Fucking hell. Astarion's gonna fucking die. He's down. does fucking nothing. That is the most useless fucking thing on the face of the planet. Come on. Critical fucking miss? Jesus fucking Christ. F fucking nailer. Got her. I don't understand. You owe me don't some fucking answers. Like that. I am a mind flayer. Yes. Without me, you would be a slave to the absolute. Of all the things to be indebted to, a bloody mind flayer. <laughs> uh, I ask again, who are you? And I'm gonna need a name this time. You may call me the Emperor. Uh, is that right? An adventurer. I came from Baldur's Gate, though I was never one to be constrained by circumstance. I longed for more. That longing brought me to Moonrise Towers on a search for treasure. To a colony of mind flayers who caught me, changed me into what I am now. I 
myself the Elder Brain. The one you know as the Absolute. I was a thrall like any other, but I was fortunate. I broke free and started a new life in my old city. I sustained myself on criminals. Unglamorous, but there are plenty of them. Rarely missed. And they fueled me while I did my work. I had the good fortune to meet Duke Stillmane. We formed a partnership, and through her, I became the governing force behind the Knights of the Shield. The largest mercantile operation in Baldur's Gate. People referred to me as the Emperor. Such was my influence. Though of course they had no idea what I really was. My needs were Satan. That little get up is not happy for a while. Is not hiding you. Until my true nature was discovered by the tyrant himself, Lord Gortash. He tore me from my home and brought me back to the brain where I became a slave once again. A slave he continued to call the Emperor. The name was intended as a slight to remind me of the heights from which I fell. But I have grown fond of it. It encapsulates well who I've become. Uh, okay. Did you have to eat criminals' brains? Rather them than potential future allies, like you. So are you gonna tell me what this battle was about? Or... How did you end up in here? Gortash sent me on a mission to retrieve the Astral Prism. I was one of many, but the first to find it. Is that what we How have? How Gortash or the other Chosen learned of its existence, I do not know. The moment I found it, I felt a change. My free will returning. I followed the feeling inside. And found the Githyanki. I realized what the prism was for. Containment. While my body was within the prism's bounds, my mind was free. I could resist the Elder Brain, the Chosen. Better yet, I could plan. To overthrow them. All I needed to do was subdue the Githyanki and find allies in the outer world. You. I am so confused. What? That Githyanki in the sphere. Who is it? Prince Orpheus, son of the first leader of the Githyanki. His power has been the source of your continued protection against the voice of the Absolute. The power to disrupt hive mind communication. It is the same power that enabled Orpheus's mother to bring about the fall of the Illithid Empire eons ago. A power she passed on to him, and that I leveraged for you. When Orpheus's mother left, a usurper took her place. Vlakith declared herself queen of the Githyanki. Vlakith wanted his power, but Orpheus rose against her. And so she sealed him and his honor guard within this prison. Bound by infernal chains, Orpheus could never leave. Bound by duty, his guard never would. They were close to breaking my hold on that prince. And if they had succeeded, we would be lost. I am relieved. You have embraced your potential enough that you could help me eliminate them. Alone, Orpheus will be much easier to control. Ah. Uh, what happens if we free Orpheus? That would be a terrible idea. The moment he is free, he will attack you. Your only defense would be to kill him, and in so doing, he would doom us both. Even though he is subdued, you feel Orpheus's revulsion, a pulsing hatred that cannot be contained. The Emperor is telling the truth. To him, you are just another wretched illithid. You carry a tadpole. As far as Orpheus is concerned, you are already a lithid. A sworn enemy, just like me. Reminds me of somebody I know. I'm no illithid and never will be. You 
You are already more in method than you realize. It has improved you. You seek to reverse an inevitable process. A process of evolution. When I first escaped from the Elder Brain, I too railed against the change. But the longer I have inhabited this form, the more it has grown on me. Even if my original body remained intact after I transformed, I would not return to it. Doing so would only impose limitations. Uh... As an Alithid, I have far surpassed who I ever was before. You too should embrace this change. Uh, I don't like what you're implying. Like it or not, our chances of defeating the Elder Brain are substantially improved if you embrace your latent illithid potential. I've been studying you for a while now. I believe I can trigger the next stage of your tadpole's life cycle while continuing to preserve your independence. You have seen what I can do. Imagine yourself with the same strength, the same intelligence, the same devastating beauty. If you let me, I can evolve you. Uh, that's gonna be a no from me, pal. If you can evolve me, why can't you stop Ceramorphosis altogether? The answer is twofold. One, I can, but it would kill you. As I told you before. Two, why would I? You have done well with the limited form you have. But you would do far better as an illithid. So... Do you wish to evolve or not? No. No way. Even as you say the words, you feel a lurch of disappointment. Your mind bristles with a lithid potential. How could you be so cruel as to deny yourself what you want most in the world? I felt that. It's your nature. You cannot fight it. So embrace it. It wants to evolve, but it cannot do so alone. It must commune with another. Eat it? Open your mind to the tap? What is it? A tadpole. Nurtured by the psionic energy of the astral plane. Cocooned here for millennia. It has become extraordinary. No, I won't do it. Are you fucking kidding me? What is with this fucking game? I can't even exit out of the- Oh my god, dude, this is so fucking stupid, man. So what does it mean? Am I gonna look like a fucking- You may resist now, but it's too late. You already embraced the powers the parasite gave you. You leverage them to manipulate, to dominate, to survive. Is it because we your nature is no longer your own? You are well on your way to fulfilling your illithid potential. You are ready to evolve. Fuck. Is it because we used so many of the A tadpoles? through your veins as the tadpole awakens. It's yearning almost unbearable. Your mind is a veritable feast. Oh the my fucking god. The courses through you. Where it touches, your flesh, glands, organs contract and flood with pure thought. You feel different. Your body has never felt more connected. What the fuck? Your mind present in every flex of a joint or muscle. I look terrible. You are exquisite. When your allies see what you can do, I hope you encourage them to try it for themselves. But we mustn't lose focus. We need to resume our journey. You heard the chosen. The brain has gone to the city, and the army marches to follow. We must not let them reach it. We must find the brain, and bring it under our control. Half illithid. 
You have embraced Ceramorphosis, no I didn't, and become half a Lithid. You can now unlock even more powerful psionics. Well... This is not cool. Shadowheart for sure is not gonna sleep with us anymore. Let's get out of here. I'm suddenly starting to think our guardian angel's not a good guy. That he's got shit that, uh... You know. I'm done. I can't wait to sleep. Yeah, me fucking neither. What did that say about the... Speak with the bookseller. Discover an ancient... Prince called Orpheus was being held prisoner. Should talk to Lazelle. Free Orpheus. Find a way to free Orpheus. This is a personal question. We found out that the astral prism is a prison for Orpheus, the mind flayer that calls itself. The Emperor has been using Orpheus's powers to suppress the influence of the Absolute. Whether we decide to trust the Emperor or not, we should find out if there's a way to free Orpheus from his chains. Agreed. Can we talk to everybody? So, there's been a mind flayer inside the artifact or astral prism the whole time we've had it. Sounds like utter madness, even though I've seen it with my own eyes. The more I learn, the less I understand just why I was sent to retrieve that thing. But it matters little now. I do not serve Shah anymore, nor the Mother Superior. The prism is no longer my mission. Saving my parents is. But I digress. Did you want something? Well, I told you what I think of your l new look. What do you think of mine? Okay, just leave. I really wonder if if uh, the Elithid powers thing, if I just use too many and that's why... That's why I couldn't resist. Copper for your thoughts? Yeah, all it's giving me prompts is to fucking convince everybody else... ...to turn into a Lithid. I don't think anybody else is around except for the people we went with, so I think it's just trying to tell us to go to bed. God damn, I do not like this new look. Son of a bitch. Lizelle? Already feeling better. Your parasite communes with Lizelle's. Her heart races as she learns of the events inside the astral prison. I look Orpheus, fucking terrible. Gith's only son. He lives. The tainted blood of the mother. The traitor prince. The Laxeri. Orpheus is a traitor? What did he do? He sought Vlakith's head in a gay ploy for her throne. Listen close. The Empress spoke only in half-truths. For you to know the tale of Orpheus, you must know the tale of Gith and of Vlakith. Long ago, when we rose up against our gay slavers, Mother Gith made for the Hells to secure an alliance with the Archdevil Tiamat. Tiamat gifted the Githyanki our red dragons, Gith remained in the Hells, and Tiamat's envoy proclaimed Vlakith our ruler. The first Vlakith of many. It is Vlakith 157 whom my people now call Queen. What? 157? That's a lot of Vlakiths. Yes. Our current Queen has claimed undeath and reigned for a thousand years. But it was the first whom Orpheus tried to slay. Orpheus was, is, Gith's renegade spawn. A gay thrall who would return us to our slavers. Oh. He convinced his own mother's honor guard to join a coup against Vlakith I. He would have fed our empire to the Illithids had he succeeded. Oh, well then. It was Kithrak Voss himself who God slayed the- God damn it, stop! What is going on? Or so the Varshas teach us. Yet the traitor's with us. Controlled by that repugnant Elithid. Should Orpheus go free, 
He would hand Vlakith's dominion to his Geich masters. The astral plane would be first to fall. The others would soon follow. So it sounds like we need to leave him imprisoned then. Um, Orpheus wasn't killed, he was imprisoned. Can you trust your teachings? Entirely. Vlakith kasivim hrath krashet. Only in Vlakith may we find light. This is the creed. I will not abandon all 10,000 protocols over one sovereign secret. It's just one Githyanki. Is he really all that dangerous to Vlakith? Orpheus is not Githyanki. He is a geith puppet cloaked in Githyanki's skin. And the most powerful mind master known to my people. Huh. One word from his scheming lips and the people would doubt. Two words and they would rage. Three words and they would bow to the false prince. The Githyanki would be slaves once more. And one by one, the plains would fall to the Geich. Alright, well, um, I'd like to talk about Orpheus. What about him? You say Orpheus is an illithid thrall, yet he seemed disgusted by us. Chuck. I'm embarrassed you'd fall for such an obvious trick. You probably believe the illithid swaddle about Vlakith usurping Gith's throne as well. The astral prison contains not one, but two atrocities. They will use you and abuse you at every opportunity. There is one truth, Vlakith's truth. Everything else is apostasy. Uh, who are the hostile Githyanki in the prism? Orpheus is honor guard, loyal to the end, and trapped by Vlakith in the same prism holding their prince, fruitlessly hacking at the sphere that contains him. So loyal, so beguiled, they were blind to his treason. The honor guard's deaths were inevitable, as is the death of their gay enthralled prince. Why did Vlakith keep Orpheus alive all those millennia ago? As loathsome as it is, the Emperor slipped one fact into its slurry of lies. Orpheus can disrupt a gay hive mind, one talent of many that drove the Illithids to enthrall him. The prince is a powerful shield and a powerful weapon. Vlakith was no fool. Why destroy a weapon like that when you can contain it in a relic and keep it for yourself? Uh, would it be wise to kill Orpheus? The Emperor is using his power to protect us. My queen would demand I slay her greatest enemy. I could not be more certain. Vlakith has a plan, and she knows what part I must play. Vlakith can't reward your loyalty if you're dead, or if the Absolute claims you. And she cannot reward me if I hand the Empire to the illithid thrall called Orpheus. Protocol 301. Neither death nor undeath may be a hindrance to Vlakith's blessing. Vlakith will know my unfaltering faith. Neither death nor the Absolute will keep me from accomplishing my duty. All right, well, let's talk about something else. Fine with me. Leave. Okay, well, fucking hell. Uh, anything else? Anything new, Karlak? I'm just like, I'm so desperate now, hoping something will change. Hey, soldier. No, God damn it! leave. We've had a mind flare whispering to us in our dreams all this time. <sighs> I really shouldn't be surprised by anything at this stage. Still, it seems keen to be an ally in its own way. Compared to what we're up against, I'm not sure that's a bad thing. All right, leave. Can we just leave camp then? Leave Act 2, there it is. God fucking damn it. We must find where Gortash and Orin have established themselves. 
and take their nether stones. All right, well, I'm sure we will, but uh, I'm gonna end that one there. I feel, I don't know how I feel, man. I'm fucking, I'm disappointed, uh, in all honesty. I just, I don't know. If, <sighs> I get it, you know, it's a game where anything can fucking, almost quite literally anything can happen. Um... I just feel like there's so much, like, there's so much it's not telling us how to do, or it's just not super straightforward, and I get that, you know, like I said, I've said before, don't treat me like a child, but at the same time, how, I, I, I quite honestly don't know how I was supposed to know half of this shit. The whole, the whole like, I feel like the game was kind of warning me about the Illithid powers shit, like, Hey man, you should really ease up, like... And to me, I don't know, it, it... They got me on that one. I will, I will give that. They got me on the Illithid power shit, and now I'm gonna turn into a fucking giant... Squidward. I guess I can live with that. The thing that I'm so fucking pissed off about is, like... Journeying through the Shadow Curse lands, like... Definitely seemed heavily implied there was a way I could have left it better. Uh, didn't know Jahira had the capability to fucking die and not just go down. I would have protected her a lot more if that was- if I knew that was the case. Um, the fucking Last Light Inn, where... Isabel was- was gonna be taken away. And... And I still didn't have the opportunity to save her. I thought all I had to do was kill the main guy and not the other fucking... You know, the other shits. But they were all after her, and then it still... Still was bad. Um... Yeah, I don't- I don't know. And then the whole- the whole romance thing is a whole nother thing. It seems like Lizelle's the only person that fucking... Is still interested. Maybe Shadowheart, but I don't know when that's gonna happen. And even then... Who knows if it is. Um... But I'll probably still keep playing just to finish it off. This is the last act, and I think it's probably either the same... I mean, it's got to be the same length, at least, as number two. I, w I had read up, and it said that act two was the longest, and it definitely didn't seem so. I mean, I guess 16 hours is pretty long, but by the time I got to Last Light In, I was 22 hours in, so... Yeah, again, I just... I don't know. I'm... I've got a lot to digest. I've been playing for hours today and yesterday, so... Uh, and hopefully you do too. Maybe you can comment and tell me what you think or what ended up happening in your playthrough. Uh, just don't spoil anything going on ahead. But anyways, if you made it to this part of the video, I, uh... I think you should subscribe if you're not already because that's... kind of just really weird that you're however many parts deep and it, uh... You're not subscribed. If you wouldn't mind leaving a like on your way out the door, that'd be pretty cool. If you plan on sticking around, I hope you see me in the next one. Thanks again.